so we are now going to calculate gross profit using a very similar technique that we have just used so we will add a new measure using the calculate function and we will calculate the value where our chart of accounts equals to you know our chart of accounts class equals to trading account now one thing to notice please clearly uh, notice that how trading account has been mentioned like t is capital and a is small we have to write in exactly the similar manner otherwise the dex will give us an error so let us start and add a new measure for our gross profit so i will say please go to measure and new measure and first of all let me resize increase the size of this window for better visibility and press the control key and scroll up on the mouse so that we have you know a little bigger font size and now let us start typing calculate function press enter and now let us recall the function that calculates the total value for anything and that was actually defined as total value so i will select that measure and now i will apply the filter that we need to add and i will say please apply filter on the class now definitely we have to select it as is tbl chart of accounts class equals and now open the inverted commas write trading account exactly the same way it is mentioned in the data close the inverted commas close the bracket and let us check the formula you can see we have no problem here let us give it a number format with zero decimals and comma separation everything looks fine and just one more thing we need to add the name here and that should be you know gross profit okay so once we have done that i will simply press ok and it will actually add a new measure so you can see a new measure has been added and since my, i already was you know uh, i had already selected my pivot table it has directly added my measure into this pivot table now we have the sales as well as we have cross profit the first thing that i want to do i want to you know i do not want to add a separate column each time i add a separate measure rather i want to present this data by row so the cross profit should be appearing in the second row uh, just below the sales and for that we need to do something very important and first of all let us get our fields back of the pivot table so i will go to pivot table analyze and i will say field list and now that we have our field list you will notice something very important here and that is if you notice this column uh, pane here and if you scroll down you will notice that there is a small you know values option so i need to you know drag this values option from column to rows and once i do that you can see that we now have our uh, measures appearing separately in the rows so we have the gross profit right next to our sales uh, right uh, right below our sales now let us check our gross profit so we ha already have gross profit you know that we have calculated uh, before dax so we can see that we have in 2018 2.383 million in 2019 we have 3.968 and finally in 2020 we have 5341 so exactly the same gross profit